Hello seniors, this is Miss Swenson and I'm here today with you to check in on how your college application process is going and to highlight some of the supports and resources that we have for you here and to aid you in your process which is you know a long and stressful one. So as we so often do when we counselors are, are working with you, um, I want to take you to our counseling webpage and just to kind of help you remember how easy it is to find this on your own, it's just, just if you could just Google WSHS counseling, you will see this dot wordpress.com. That's the one you want. And then go ahead and open that and go to the menu and you'll see all the various categories where there's just tons of information posted for you to rely on and access whenever you need to. So today, let's first go to college applications. And I want to show you a couple things that are here for you. First of all, there's this college application checklist, which you can print and use to kind of remind you about things that you want to be getting done and staying on track. So it takes you through the whole year. So here we are in the fall, kind of up in the top third of what's on this list. And then um, there's also another document here which offers tips and resources just to keep you on track and doing well. Um, this covers um, process and how you can make your application stronger and also tips for writing your essay. And then, let's see, I just, we're not going to spend much time on this, so I will keep moving on this and take you back to our college application planning chart, which the more schools you may be applying to, the more organization is going to be important. And this is a tool, if you click on Enable Editing, then you're going to be able to make this document your own. And so you can save this you know, to a flash drive or to your documents, print, use this however you like. But this can really, really help you in terms of having a one-pager that shows you, you know, what you need to be doing. So it helps you to focus on what to do next because this can all be quite overwhelming. So um, you're able to just go in and type the school name, say UW, and list the deadline. We know that for that one, that was November 15th. It's come and gone. And a fair number of you applied. The scholarship deadline, you can include that. Scholarships offered. You can make these columns your own. You might want to have one for, say, personal essay. Kind of a question mark where you can say yes or no. You can say completed when it's done. Um, possibly another one might be letter of recommendation. There could be other categories too that you want to keep track of. So this is a document that you can make your own. So as I mentioned before, the more schools that you're applying to, the more important it is that you stay organized. For those of you that may um, not really have so many colleges yet on your list, uh, just remember that we have uh, always recommended that you apply to at least, you know, four to five schools. And that on that list you have, you know, it's okay to apply to your dream school, the school that you just may not get into. It's a little, maybe sometimes called a reach school because um, the typical GPA or SAT scores may be higher than yours. But it doesn't mean that you don't have a chance of getting in because remembering how we looked at, um, and I will show you that is here too. That video that um, can say say. I'm actually, I'm going to cancel on that and just close this. Um, so if let's see, if we go, if we just go back to the 
main menu uh, on this page and click on just college info there is this video that you have watched before and remember how there is this panel of people and you can watch this video whenever you like that really have quite a thorough discussion about their applicants and you know they bring up points for the others to consider and so you see what that process can really look like so I want you to be reminded that um, colleges are not always all about the scores and your transcript and grades but also very much they're looking to see the real the whole person behind the numbers so keep that in mind as you are writing your essay that that is their effort to see the real you so if you are perhaps not sure how many you know all the colleges that you might want to apply to and want to explore those um, Big Future is a great website to go to and it's right there on the College Info tab and here you can it this this website really just meets you where you at, are right now getting started or finding colleges and wanting a lot of information there is all kinds of information you could ever want here probably more than you could ever read but I like this search site down here <clears throat> excuse me um, so they have a total of 3700 colleges that are on this site and you can narrow down them down by your own criteria that are here on the left the left so t say that um, maybe you know what area of study that you want to pursue so you want to be sure to you know pick a school that would cover or have the major and study that you are interested in say it maybe it's health and medicine and you haven't really picked or maybe you have picked um, a specific thing maybe it's nursing so you can type that in and choose nursing practice so if that were your only criteria right now you could go and close and see the results for those colleges if you thought well one more thing I think you know location is important to me too maybe you don't want to be far from home or maybe you want to stay within the state or within the Northwest you can kind of select different ways you can choose a mileage say you don't want to be more than 500 miles from school and then you're going to enter your zip code and the other thing you can do is select a broader region but let's um, so let's say that you want to stay with Washington because the the tuition is going to be a better price you're assuming so enter these criteria and they're they're indicated over here um, these three with these marks are the ones that you've made your selection on your priorities and if nursing is a must-have then leave it there if um, if it's maybe a want but you know that you want help in medicine that's a must-have then leave it that way you can set these things how important is location you can set that and then close and see results and the colleges will come up for you and at that point you can click on them and you know kind of take the video tour you know the virtual tour so they will offer a lot of information and sometimes a lot of picture too so let's see if we go back and maybe um, look more at uh, City University that's here in the city mm -hmm. more of a pictures and nice way to explore and find colleges that also might fit your criteria okay so that's how that works and um, you see the other criteria for narrowing your search too it could be based on um, sports and activities that are available for you or the cost diversity might be something where you get to determine exactly what percentage of the student body would you want to see in terms of diversity okay so that's big future and another here is um, the common application which I wanted to give you 
little bit of an idea how that can work. Um, details on how to apply, creating your account, and how you're going to add schools, um, getting started, and exploring colleges. So again, you can search them by state. Let's stay with Washington again. And these are the Washington State schools that are on the Common App. So the Common Application mostly has um, not our Washington State public institutions, but the private ones. And then outside of the state of Washington, there might be more public um, universities and colleges here for you. So then you can explore these, St. Martin's, Seattle Pacific, Seattle University. And each time you, know, you click on them, you're going to get more information. So you may find others that you want to apply to. So again, remembering that we recommend four or five or six schools at, at minimum so that you have a couple of one or two dream schools on your list, a couple of sure bets where you feel that your qualifications are a good match for uh, the majority of their applicants, and at least one or two safety schools where you know you'll be accepted and you know that you would be um, you would accept going there and that would be okay too. Okay, so returning back to the um, menu and today I'm really just highlighting either college info or college applications. So back to college applications and your organizational tool. You can find more colleges and consider where you're going to be applying. So um, in the fall, you're going to use this information that you've gathered from both college visits, interviews, your own research to decide which schools you're going to apply to. And, and um, so back to the college application checklist on our website. Um, just want to kind of highlight some of the more important things to focus on maybe at this point in the year. Um, high school transcripts, different schools require, request them different ways. Most of them are, are ask, asking for them online at this point. So your counselor can provide you with an online or an electronic copy. If that is, if they want it sent by you, if they want it sent by your counselor, you're usually going to provide your counselor's email address, and then they will request us to upload it in a certain way, or send it directly to them through email. Um, later in the year, the mid-year grade reports will um, probably be requested as well too, especially with the Common App, and counselors do take care of that. Um, the other thing I wanted to highlight, and along with all these other themes is to, in, in regards to your essay, please, please, please proofread and um, check for spelling and grammar. Have one or two people definitely read your essay and give feedback, revise, and then proofread the revision. You want that to really read well. So that's a very important piece for them to understand. They're really trying, that's where they're really trying to get a sense of you as a person. And anything that's not, um, you know, proper spelling and grammar is definitely going to jump out to them in a negative way. You want to make sure it flows and has a nice, easy to read for them. They read so many, so you want to make yours memorable and also easy. And then in regards to your application, it's very important to, and I'm not sure if it's even on this list, but it's very important if you can, to proofread that as well <clears throat> and uh, make copies or save the document before you send. Check your status with the college in terms of, you can call admissions or they may give you a, an electronic um, status report of, you know, the status of your application. Is it complete? Is anything missing? You want to be checking on all those things and letting your counselor know if there's anything else they need to submit. Um, you'll want to make sure you know you're updating them with any new 
test scores if you're doing the ACT.